I get so embarrassed because I'm like, you really thought you ate. But hopefully this time when I'm editing the video, I'm like, oh wait, wait, wait. Today's video is gonna be a full glam. Um, two disclaimers. One, I'm really kind of sick-ish. I can't say I'm really sick because if I'm really sick, why am I filming? But um, my voice is gonna sound a little bit different than usual. Second, I think that was the only one. It's not really a disclaimer, but it's just to let you guys know I am not a full glam person. So this is not really like, I wouldn't consider it like a full tutorial type beat. I would really say it's like um, like a full glam challenge for me because I haven't been able I haven't been able to there's been multiple occasions where I told myself I was gonna do full glam and my friend looked at me and said girl that's not full glam that's I don't think there's a problem with that I'm very much in tune with the natural side of beauty I really like that vibe and I also kind of like um, the less is more, the less is more, the less is more. So today's the time to push, like, uh, what they call it, that boundary. Also, if you're someone that doesn't buy a lot of makeup or doesn't have a lot of makeup, we're twins in a sense because I don't buy a lot of makeup. But someone might look at this and be like, oh, that's a lot of makeup. Um, all my makeup is in this box here, so I don't have much full coverage beauty products there must be a way for us that don't do full glam to be able to get like a full glam look with the products that we have without having to buy more so that's what i'm gonna do i bathed and i showered and for my base my skincare i just made sure to douse my skin with uh, a lot of moisturizing products because i think that that made the most sense to me especially if i'm gonna be using a lot of powders i don't want my skin to shrivel up and, and quake and shiver and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure it, uh, it had a, a moist and, and um, hydrated base. First thing I want to do though, actually for real for real, is the brows. And I used to watch a lot of YouTube back in the day. I still do. That's not, it's not like I stopped. And I used to always see that they don't do the brows on camera. Ga, 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 ga. I don't know why they don't do that. And people used to think they were gatekeeping their brow secrets. But I think what it is is that some, some people, well, I, I guess I know now because it's my turn behind the camera. It's because like when the camera's on, we're trying to look into the camera, make sure we're in focus and stuff like that. And, and brows require that focus that we're investing in the camera. So I think when they turn it off, because they really want to focus on their brows and I also think that um, they want to save storage on their SD card because those are things that I, I didn't really think about till now I'm gonna edit this really well so everything's gonna be on the screen for you I'm going in with the standard eyebrow angled brush and spoolie on the other end and then with the dark brown dip brow and I'll do my brows like right now you gotta get yourself one of these. It's huge and it's really convenient. Guys, this is September now. I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this year really, really decided to like run past us. It didn't want to be here for long. Not in my personal life, but socially. It feels like everything that happened, I completely forgot about. The shape that I really want is more like a, a, a light arch, but every time I go do my brows, they never really get it. You know, maybe they know what I want, but they're like, girl, you don't have the capacity with the brows that you have to get what you want. So I'm going to give you what you can get. And I think that's usually what happens because I never end up leaving the chair with what I want. But it's never something I hate either. And I don't know, the, the brow ladies around my area are really affordable. So I'm just glad that they're offering their services anyway. So I don't really have much to complain about for real, for real. I do what I can what I got. Whoa. This is why they turn the camera off. Hold on. To the next level. Let's get into it. Firstly guys, I start off by gripping my skin with Cerebi. My skin has always been clear, but I had a 
Creators called Marithra. Hopefully, I said her name right. That's it. That's the one. Obviously, I don't have the exact same products as her, nor do I have to do everything exactly like she did, but her video really kind of helped me realize how much product I'm actually going to be applying. So the foundation that I use is the Charlotte Tilbury one. It's called Beautiful Skin. If the business is true that I'm going to be doing full glam, then the patches can't show. If I finish this makeup look and I still see some of my actual skin um, uneven skin tones, then I didn't do it properly and I, I lied to you guys and I didn't want to actually commit. So, yeah. That's also me not committing to the word full in full glam. Yeah, bro, I have like, I have no recollection of this year, guys. It's actually outsane. I have like all the recollection in the world when it comes to me because obviously everyone is so self-absorbed, including myself. Um, I can remember a lot of details when it comes to the BS that I've been through this year and the blessings that I've had this year. Hmm. One thing that I'm really excited about, obviously, that it's fall. Fall is a great season. Um, fall is my favorite, honestly. I've always said this, I will always say it. No, it's not because it's my birthday month, but like, bro, come on now. That's so biased, like, no. There's a couple of things that I did learn, so maybe I could give you some actual valuable information. I try not to put too much product around, like, past my cheekbone because the skin there is really thin and really, like, um, I wouldn't call it sensitive, but it's thin, like tissue paper almost. So the more product you have on there, the more messy it might look, right? Especially if it's heavy products. So avoid stacking up too much in there from the jump uh and that's something i think i learned from a patrick patrick ta video but i'm not sure if it was patrick ta or if it was something jackie Ina said i'm not really sure where i learned it from okay don't say i didn't pack it up this looks like more than enough coverage guys please don't it really does. I got this ginormous beauty blender. It's kind of cute. Um, I kind of like always going in with one afterwards because I do feel like uh, if ever the brush left a streak that I didn't notice or that I didn't kind of like um, buff out, then this is going to do that job for me. So, but not, I feel like don't do too much because I've noticed that when I do too much with the beauty blender, it starts to pick up some of the product. So, uh, yeah. Next, I'm going to go in with the NARS concealer first. I also have a lighter concealer, which is from Hourglass. I might do that one second to last. But first, we're going to do the NARS concealer because it's the one that I've liked the most. This video is also going to be showing you that some light coverage makeup products can give you a full glam effect, you know, without you having to get, um, I think there's a Tweety Bird somewhere. My, my window's open, so if you hear her, it's probably just a little tweety word. So this is the amount of concealer that I saw the girl wear, so it was kind of a lot. <laughs> Obviously she doesn't look like me, but I looked at her face shape and my face shape, and I kind of like noticed a little bit that it wasn't too far off. I also watched another girl's video who has a more accurate face shape to mine and I noticed that one thing I really like is when the concealer makes the face look more snatched and so by doing that I start off over here and then I lift it up over here. I try my hardest not to go into the cheekbone too much even though the bronzer is going to end up being there somehow just I try and avoid going too far down. Put in those two areas and then in between her brows, her nose, and her chin. I haven't put this much makeup on my face since Halloween of last year. An ongoing joke in the makeup community of full glam girls making fun of light coverage girls being like, I haven't put this much makeup on my face, like this is a lot. But the light wear makeup girls being like, 
kind of making fun of the full coverage girls and being like, well, you know, I don't even need all that makeup to give a look and all of this things. But it's like, girls, can we just love each other? Can we actually, can we actually guys just love each other? Because actual focus needs to be on how expensive these things are getting. You guys want to know why I don't have much? And this is actually me being super ungrateful because I'm sure there was a time where I had even less. All my makeup fit in a pencil case and I'm sure that some people couldn't afford to be full coverage even if they wanted to because of how expensive makeup is these days. So let's just kind of like maybe, I don't know if we strike it, I don't know if we um, partition, like what are, what are we doing? Are we going to talk about it? Are we going to make it a thing or are we just going to like not? Is it something we can't control? Maybe it's something we can't control. Maybe I'm just like, I don't know. But yeah. I'm going to be diffusing, diffusing. I'm going to be blending the concealer with a brush like this. My theory is act like your face is a canvas or that you're painting or coloring or shading. If you're into arts, then you get it. So I'm not going to be moving the concealer much with this. I'm just going to make sure it covers the area I want it to cover. And then I'm going to use the beauty blender to kind of break that separation that makes it seem so, so like... I'm just kind of like making sure it's in the right area first and then around the edges especially I use the beauty blender to kind of like make sure it's not such an obvious separate section do you get what I mean and then a couple of taps on the actual concealer to melt it into the face the under the eye I only put it in two spots but it really has to be everywhere and remember when I said like the thinnest area is closest to your eye like center of your face vibes um, so basically because I don't want because I know I'm gonna put another concealer and this is still not super dry yet I'm going to start with the edges and not move it up there at all until near the end and then Cause we're gonna keep adding and adding and adding and adding and adding and editing and editing and like touching up so we want to make sure we're not gonna go near sensitivity until it's necessary so yeah i want like a snatch vibe so if it starts here and it just goes upwards it really makes me happy on to the next side I was watching the Ralph Lauren show and um, I really, really liked it. Some of the stuff that I saw, it made me realize like he's such a cool American designer. He really is because I think his vibes are really American and it's kind of cool. I'm not American, by the way, so it's not like it's my pride, but you know, I just, I like that. I don't know, I really do. I think there's a lot of people that are coming up on the scene, especially from places like America, especially when they're born and raised in America, but they're really looking up to the Europeans and looking up to fashion from, you know, especially France, Italy, so on and so forth. A lot of designers found that when they tried to emulate the European style or emulate the American style, it just fell flat into fast fashion. It didn't really give innovation, but you can't replicate it as well as someone that got it from within. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like Ralph Lauren, he kind of represent the way he shows American old couture. It really comes from within, and now it was kind of cool to see. And I think that's really what got me in. Obviously, uh, what like that's what kind of got me watching is because I didn't know about the show obviously I'm not really like in tune and all that but for, for Ralph Lauren to show an American style that feels so sincere and I'm not saying America steals everything but there's such a mixed melting pot of different things uh, it's hard to feel like anything is super authentic when it's like American like generations deep original America's history has America's history is really, really, really devastating if you really want to think about it that way. So hourglass concealer, hourglass concealer, and it's much lighter and she can do more. So we're going to put that on the inside corner, inner eye corner. Yeah, we're going to put that on the inner eye corner. 
end of it here too but we gotta let that one kind of do a, a um a drying thing like we kind of let that do a different vibe like we can't really move her real fast so what we'll do instead is contour which is my favorite part it makes me look like a woman the contour i use is from fenty i've had this for so long i think it's expired or something but it's the one i want it's the one i need and it hasn't gone down on me so i don't want it to go too deep downwards i like it to go a little bit more horizontally because the truth is, when it goes too down, it makes me look like this. And I don't like that. Found it cool, like it's a Hamptons vibe. It really did give Hamptons. And it's something that, no European vibe. Like, I don't think it could be replicated in the same way from a European designer. And I don't think it could be replicated in the same way from an African designer, an Asian designer, any other designer because it kind of felt so authentic to America's core. Fashion scene, America was never really screaming at me too much. You know, I wasn't really, she was, she's not, she's one of the girls, but she's kind of like just cool. But she was never like giving mother, 10 on 10, innovation, started this. She just gives trendsetter, pop icon, Hollywood always there always in the scene always will be around we want her but we don't but we do what we don't but the other ones like france she gives kind of like you have to respect her always italy's kind of like you have to respect me too duh and Ralph Lauren really put a kick in that like really put it like you want to see america i'll show you america and that's kind of what the show but it was but it was also rooted in like very natural vibes very very elegant not too much it was very calm um yeah it was a very cool film the espresso puts the warmth that i want but the patrick ta i'm in the shade she's chiseled it really deepens the vibes so i go in with the cream one because it's really dark and i put it only at the edge edge um, sometimes when I finish my makeup and I look at the editing, I get so embarrassed because I'm like, you really thought you ate. But hopefully this time when I'm editing the video, I'm like, oh wait, 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 this is actually not that bad. And then it ends up being posted because I just had a flashback of how many videos of makeup I've done that never got posted. Anywho, this brush doesn't have product on it yet. I'm just kind of trying to melt in the chiselness because it's really very much there but you know just because we're giving full glam doesn't mean it gotta be harsh like I, it could be cute it could be kind of like you know you're there you know you're there we're gonna now focus on the hourglass section again so we're going to really be a bit more precise I don't want to go, so this one for the front, the one that's close to the nose, I don't want to go too close to the nose because I want to contour the nose first. I just want to start the diffusing, the diffusion. I just want to start um, the diffusing of the concealer. And I'm super slow and like dainty with it because once again, treat it like you're painting something you don't want to put the paint in the wrong area and then have to try and go back and fix it you would much rather be precise from jump so that's kind of like what i'm gonna do especially because i have a lot of time i decided to film the, the thing isn't until way later i think it's like i have like two hours actually that's not a lot of time well i did shower yes i have a lot of time i just gotta get dressed and then drive some people say September, October, November are the most core rocking months of the year. It's usually where all the plot starts to thicken and they're not wrong. Every year so far since I've hit puberty, the stuff has always been more intense around the errs. The September, November, December, October, all of the errs. And I don't know why, what's in the air? What's in the air? I don't know what it is. What is it that gives that? I, don't, I really don't know. I wish I knew. Um, but yeah. Time to contour that nose. 
I want to make my nose look a little bit like, like I want to make it look snatched in a, something about September, October, November seems like the most welcoming time for change because you just expect a lot of change. There's change in the weather, there's change in the times, there's change in like just the atmosphere. You're going from having a lot more free time to maybe having more school and stuff like that. There's change in seasons because there's a lot more holidays coming up. You just expect change. You're not expecting the same thing that was in January to be exactly the same thing in these three last months do you know what i mean so it's something about it that i really do enjoy because i kind of feel braced for whatever is going to be thrown at me but sometimes it's worse than i expected but i kind of feel braced for it. i kind of feel like yeah bro it's spooky vibes like it's time i don't know but i really i stopped talking because i don't want to put that out there and then god maybe i don't want you to think that i'm trying to tell you that i'm ready for something no, I don't want nothing. No, 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 no. I don't, I didn't say nothing. I don't want nothing. I, I actually, I really, when I, I am okay, actually. I'm very fine. You know, sometimes if I don't I really like contouring under my nose, too. Like right under here. I feel like it gives me more of like, um, a button nose vibe. Ooh, it looks too snatched. Give me time, let me cook. So this time we're actually going into the skinny, legend, thin, wrinkly area right under the eye that I kept saying, let's not try and pack it up with products and stuff. Now we're going in there because it's time. She has dried up, the concealer's a little thicker. Um, especially if you're using more light coverage, then you're gonna have to wait a little bit uh, try not to try not to use it too quick uh, because it's it's a little bit you know it's usually watery and stuff so you kind of want to wait now we're gonna continue touching up touching up means like looking at areas that you like let's say you're moving around your concealer on your nose then you're gonna touch up the contour on your nose Let's say you're moving around the contour on your nose and you're going to touch up the concealer on your nose. If you're moving around your cheek, you're going to fix your bronzer a little bit. Things like that. When I'm like super satisfied with my nose, I'll let you guys know. But for now, it's it's not. Don't even look at my nose actually, please. Because it's kind of giving like going this way. The last step before we're going to start the setting powder is... Um, looking up and making sure that all the concealers in the actual crease of those eye sockets so that we can set it properly if not they're gonna set with those crease lines i'm gonna go in with the translucent one indeed this is a lot i'm starting to feel like a different person we're going to do the chin as well. It really looks crazy, doesn't it? Kind of looks white. Huh. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I never told you I was a tutorial. I said I was trying something new, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll honestly see how it goes. We're gonna bake that. I watched some TikToks. So we're gonna bronze with Patrick Ta. Honestly, she chiseled. That's the only one I have. What else am I gonna use? <laughs> I used to have a makeup palette. Don't think I do anymore. Um, it was a Morphe one. I could look around. If I do, then we might use it for the eye look. If I don't, I could do an eye look with the bronzers that I have and the highlighters that I have. I could figure some out, guys. T cashew and kind of chisel that jaw or um this thing.
Let me go look and see if I got that palette because then we could play around with the eyes. Andy, Andy. So we're gonna use this for everything, actually, because we have no choice. And we could use, um, I'm gonna use a tissue to kind of wipe things down. And when I was younger, I used to really play with makeup. Like I used to really do the looks, the Manny and UAs, the Jeffree Stars, the Patrick Stars. Ooh. Um, the Tati's and the James Charles they really did uh, and the Jackie Inas and they all did it so I can't even show you this palette guys wow actually I think I, I'm supposed to because it's like I'm going in with in the zone Ooh. Hmm, it's really in those, it's really pigmented. I forgot, I forgot these things are Morphe. <laughs> yeah, guys, Morphe always been pigmented. I just, I really did just forget. So I just made my whole entire eye red. I'm gonna go in with the Vixen color and just go on top of it with that. All over the lid, guys. I'm gonna use the brown sugar on the mix six. I think it's it's gonna be easier for me to play around with and add on to. And I want it all around my lid. I really like that glow vibe. Why the heck not? First, I'm gonna wipe this off the eyes. It really did bake because it doesn't feel like there's much of a difference wiping this off. So for blush, we're going to do the Nearly Berry from Rare Beauty. Okay, so I got to add lip balm on, which I need to wipe off. So I lined my lips with Pillow Talk 3 from Charlotte Tilbury. Or any brown. Okay. I should have a lipstick that's like beige um, that I could put like on my lips to get that sort of nude, but I don't. So I'm gonna use this concealer stick from Merit in the shade Sienna. I'm gonna use Ula Hendrickson's. Uh, the bomb, the regular shade, not shade, the orange creamsicle one. When I mix it all together, it looks really cool. Just wait. But my friend has a setting spray that I need. She got the real one, she got the real good one. Um, I think it's from one size. I'll put it on the screen. That's the one I need. So she, I'm gonna use this one to melt everything in, and then I'm gonna use hers to set everything in place. Don't forget to clean up your station before you leave, unless you're in a rush, of course, because it's time for us to get dressed now. Well, that's the video. I really like the way it looks. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing real quick and then I'll sign out. Really cute black dress from Ritzia. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.